Good evening, parents, guardians, staff, students, family, friends, and our grade eight graduates. My name is Michelle Bottas, and I've had the privilege and honor of serving you as principal of St. Anne Catholic Academy School of Virtual Learning. Tonight, we gather virtually to celebrate our esteemed grade eight Ontario Catholic School graduates. They are not only celebrating a milestone as they officially embark on the transition into secondary, they are also making history. You are the first grade eight students in the TCDSB to officially graduate from the St. Anne Catholic Academy School of Virtual Learning. Congratulations. We now welcome an incredibly talented young St. Anne graduate who graciously accepted our invitation to share her voice and talents. Please welcome Emma Molina, who will be singing our national anthem, O Canada. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ever-present God, we always walk in your light and love, surrounded by your care and concern. Our life is a journey with the many choices we make along the way. Grant that we may follow the way of Jesus with eyes of faith and hope, hearts of kindness and love, and minds of justice and peace, always supported by your guidance, your strength, and your safety. May we discover your presence in the people and events we encounter each day, as we try to proclaim the good news of the gospel by walking and acting justly, walking and loving tenderly, and walking humbly with you and with one another. Together, we ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who walks with us each day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, graduates of St. Anne's 2022. I'm speaking to you today from the School of St. Joe's Moore Park Secondary. And this school, like all Toronto Catholic District School Board properties, is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabeg, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Wendat peoples. We also want to acknowledge that the land covered by Treaty 13 is held by the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and that Toronto is subject to the Dish With One Spoon Covenant. We want to recognize the contributions and enduring presence of all First Nations, Métis, and Inuit people in Ontario and across Canada. Graduates, we hope that you're always mindful of the land, the creator who provides it, and the people who care for it. Congratulations. Here's our administrator's team for the year 2021-2022. Nancy Shaheen, Vice Principal. Najwa Shalabi, Vice Principal. Mariangela Morano, Vice Principal. Paddy Morgan, Vice Principal. Kristen Tachi, Vice Principal. Joe Russo, Principal. Michelle Batos, Principal, and Lori DeMarco, Superintendent. Our Grade 8 teachers for the year 2021-2022 are the following. Amanda Citrinidi, Haldor Colangelo, Kelly Craig, Paulo DeLeo, Anthony DiMadiros, Diana DeSanto, Christina Galuzzo, Juan Gomez, Jimenez, Luciano Lichardone, Monica Lidzinski, Luisa Mior, Christian Kutcher, Matteo Parente, James Perry, 
and Michelle Vachon. I would like to welcome Vanessa Biadora to deliver the opening speech of the graduation ceremony. We also welcome all of the St. Anne staff who have assisted with graduation planning and those who are attending as members of the audience this evening. On behalf of our school community, we would like to thank our guest speakers for their support and hard work. Hello and welcome fellow graduates, classmates, students, teachers, and parents of St. Anne. I would also like to welcome all of our St. Anne staff who have assisted with the graduation planning and those who are attending as members of the audience here this evening. On behalf of our school community, I would also like to thank the guest speakers for their hard work and support. I am Vanessa Biadora, a proud St. Anne student from Mr. Leitra Donay's grade eight class. Today we gather ourselves to celebrate our well-deserved exit from elementary school to high school. Although many of you may see today as a sad farewell to our friends, teachers, and classmates, it is really a new door opening with new chances and risks ahead. We all have learned a lot from these nine years of school and have gained many experiences and climbed many obstacles along our way. But with all these tough times, look at you now. Just think back to the first day of kindergarten. It was scary and out of our comfort zone. Though it was terrifying, we slowly adapted and ended up not wanting to leave school. And come to think of it, we barely knew one, anyone at the time and still ended up making a bunch of friends and making memories. Today, I am talking to you all about a graduation I was also very nervous about. My soul sunk every time I remembered the day that I would exit elementary school and I'd get nervous and look at things on my phone. One day while I was doing this, I came across a quote that helped inspire me. This quote was, you must do the things you think you cannot do by Eleanor Roosevelt. This quote helped show me that everything in life is limitless and the only thing trying, stopping us from trying is ourselves. Though this quote helped me gain the confidence to speak here today, it wouldn't have been the same without my family, friends, classmates, teachers, and parents. To them, I owe my biggest thanks to, and so should you. We should be grateful that we were able to make it this far, and it wouldn't have been the same without all these peers around us. Remember, today is not our closing door, though it is a key for our future. There'll be many doors ahead and many we will enter, but it is your choice to find your keys and choose your path. Just think as today is a fresh new start. We all go through the same failures and these failures help strengthen us and perseveres us and helps us strive for the best. Everything will come down to you. The only person you're competing with is you. Everything in these upcoming years will come down to how much you put in it. In conclusion, remember to keep your head up high and take a, take a chance to breathe. Make time for yourself and try something new. I would like to end by congratulating all the hardworking grade eights here today, as well as the hardworking teachers. I would like to thank our principal, Mrs. Botos, and our former principal, Mr. Russo, and as well as the hardworking parents here today. I hope to see you all in the near future and remember to enjoy your high school years. Thank you and great job. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Joe Russo, St. Anne's principal to address our graduates. Greetings, everyone. I am your principal, Mr. Russo, here at St. Anne Catholic Academy School of Virtual Learning. I am grateful to have the opportunity to be able to offer congratulations and best wishes to our graduates and their parents. You have made history as you are the first graduating class here at St. Anne. Graduates, you have made the most of every day. You have gained new skills by learning in new ways and have thrived online. Every day you diligently joined your teachers in either Zoom or Google Meet. And now we are celebrating your journey in the exact same way. During the time that I have served as your principal, I have been very proud of all that you have done to contribute to the community here at St. Anne. I still remember meeting almost everyone when capturing class photos. You all made me feel so special and we definitely connected in positive ways online. What has impressed me most is your kindness, your sense of humor, 
and your consistent demonstration of respect for self and respect for the other children and the staff in our community. You have demonstrated respect and maturity beyond your years, which will serve you well in the future. As your principal, I would like to thank you for sharing your amazing gifts and talents. Graduates, I am very proud of your accomplishments. We are truly a very diverse community, but blessed to be able to share in our faith and express and celebrate our Catholicity publicly in school each day. Do not ever take that for granted, graduates. We hope that you will continue to carry the torch that is Catholic education and keep the fire burning. Accept the challenge to make our world a better place and share the values of charity, faith, justice, hope, and love with all those you will meet. I offer our sincere thanks to the staff here at St. Anne. To the staff, I say this, thank you for all you've done to shape and transform our students so that they meet the Ontario graduate, Catholic graduate expectations. You have worked diligently to ensure that our students are discerning believers, effective communicators, reflective and creative thinkers, self-directed, collaborative, caring, and responsible citizens. A sincere thanks to our grade eight team for their tremendous dedication in preparing the graduates for the transition they will make to their chosen high schools come September. Thank you as well to our administration team, our superintendent, and Ms. Batos, who has been a tremendous principal while I've been away. As well, I wanna thank our um, guidance counselors, our special services team, and of course, the in-person staff at schools that have also continued to offer support um, uh, with our graduates. Thanks as well to you, the parents, who have worked in partnership with the staff of St. Anne and for being involved in your child's education by supporting and encouraging them and ensuring the connection between home, school, and parish is honored. This must continue to be a priority. We pray for you, the parents of our graduates, that you recognize that you, along with Christ, serve as the greatest role models for your children, and that you may continue to guide and discipline them with patience and love, especially as they prepare to enter grade nine in September and face the many new challenges that lie ahead. To conclude, grade eights, I was so happy that I got to see most of you. You are ready for the challenges ahead. I pray that you will find success and happiness through your service to others and that on your life's journey, you are always willing to share the many talents you possess as you pursue your dreams and ambitions. Remember that Jesus is your friend and never be afraid to seek his guidance when there are decisions to be made. It has been an absolute pleasure sharing time here and with each of you and everyone and being witness to your sense of community and your personal growth. Promise that you will always be true to yourself and let your talents shine. We salute you and congratulate you. May God always bless you and keep you close. Wishing you a wonderful summer, stay safe, best wishes for continued success as you enter high school in September. And thank you again for choosing St. Anne Catholic Academy School of Virtual Learning. Bye for now. Good evening, everyone. My name is Christian Kucher, and I'm one of the eighth grade teachers here at St. Anne's Junior Academy. Uh, please join me in welcoming our chair of the Toronto District Catholic School Board, Mr. Frank D'Amico. Dear graduates of the class of 2022, hi, I'm trustee Frank D'Amico. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, congratulations to you. Each of you has achieved an incredible personal milestone, a truly remarkable accomplishment in your life that will allow you to access an exciting future. As you bid farewell to your friends and teachers, I hope you will hold memories of your school experiences close to your heart. May you continue to grow in grace and live your lives as a caring, responsible citizen. 
and a proud grad of a Toronto Catholic school. I wish you all the best as you take this next step on your academic journey. Congratulations, graduates of the class of 2022. God bless. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Lori DeMarco, Superintendent of St. Anne, Curriculum, Leadership and Innovation in ICT. Good evening, St. Anne grade eight students, parents, families, and staff. It is a pleasure to be with you this evening to say a few words. Graduation marks an ending to what you are leaving. You have finished grade eight after 10 years of learning foundational skills. Graduation also marks a beginning. You are moving on to new things. In high school, you will refine your knowledge. In the next four years, you will start to plan your future. So today you look back to celebrate your accomplishments and you look ahead with excitement to the future. We thank you for all that you have brought to the Toronto Catholic District School Board as students and parents and families and staff, and especially to St. Anne's students, as you blazed a trail as students in a virtual school, we are proud of you. St. Francis of Assisi is attributed with saying, preach the gospel and if necessary, use words. This means that you live out your faith through your actions. In the TCDSB, we are moving into our second year of our pastoral plan, walking with Christ with hearts of kindness and love. Wherever you are headed next year, we wish you well. Remember to preach the gospel through your actions as you walk with hearts of kindness and love. Remember to thank your families, friends, and teachers for all they have done and continue to do support to support you. Education is important and it will open up the world to you. Congratulations to you, the St. Anne Academy School of Virtual Learning grade eight graduating class of 2022. Good luck in your future. Good evening. Join me in welcoming Dr. Brendan Brown, director of the Toronto Catholic District School Board. Reverend Father, graduates, parents, guardians, caregivers, family and friends, staff and special guests, welcome. Congratulations to all of the graduates. It's truly a privilege to be part of this celebration and of your success. All of us gathered here, we share a commitment to student achievement and well-being. Some of us have played a larger role in your lives than others, but we're all here to celebrate with you as one chapter of your life is ending, but a new one's beginning. On this day, we celebrate the love, the guidance, and the care that parents, guardians, caregivers, all family members have provided to our students. And you must all be so proud of each and every one of our graduates as you watch them grow and to succeed. To the teachers and other staff, we say thank you for the support and the inspiration that have enabled these students to develop a love of learning and hone the skills and attitudes that will carry them forward as capable, confident, and successful learners throughout their lives. The spiritual guidance provided by the parish, together with the leadership and dedication of parents, guardians, caregivers, and the entire community have helped to provide our graduates with a solid foundation rooted in gospel values and our Catholic teachings. We hope that all that you've learned will help you to achieve all of our Catholic graduate expectations. Graduates, this is your night to shine. Celebrate all that you've accomplished and the friendships that you've made along the way. Look forward with great hope and anticipation to what lies ahead. Because next year, you're gonna have even more opportunities to make new friendships. Continue to build on the skills and the knowledge that you've acquired here. And you're once again gonna be challenged to make good decisions, to remain positive role models for your peers and those who come after you. So may you continue to be caring and responsible citizens, creative thinkers, and most importantly, be lifelong learners. Through eyes of faith and hope, we hope that you will continue to realize your Catholic call to service as we remain caring, compassionate, and faithful members of our global community. Our hope and our strength come from God. When we need encouragement, we can turn to God who's always present. Hope is also where you learn, where you start to understand the world better, where you start to understand who you are and who you're becoming. You each have a unique and important role to play in bringing our pastoral plan to life, both in your lives and in the greater community. So congratulations on a job well done and much success in the years ahead. God bless each and every one of you. Congratulations. At every graduation, certain students are recognized because of high achievement during the past school year. This year is no exception. 
We are very happy to honor those students and to present them with the recognition they deserve. Please join me in honoring this year's recipient. The English Award recognizes students who have achieved the highest overall academic average throughout the year by maintaining a high degree of excellence in their approach to study. The students' work reflected imagination and creativity, as well as an appropriate use of form and structure. The students' love of reading and writing was evident in all areas of the curriculum. These students have also been consistent in completing daily homework and excelling in assignments and tests. They have also developed the study skills that will ensure their success in future academic endeavors. And the award goes to... The French Award is presented to the students who are able to produce a high level of academic achievement in the strands of listening, speaking, reading, and writing, while also embodying a general love for the French language. These students demonstrated constant participation in all aspects of the French program. And the award goes to... Religion Award. This award recognizes students who have made a positive contribution to their classroom community. These students have demonstrated the Catholic values of service and responsibility. And the award goes to... The Math Award recognizes students who have achieved the highest overall average in math throughout the year by maintaining a high degree of excellence in their approach to study. These students creatively solve mathematical problems and relate mathematics to everyday life. They have also been consistent in completing daily homework and excelling in assignments and tests. In addition, they willingly share knowledge and skills with their peers often providing direction and leadership in group situations. And the award goes to... The Christian Spirit Award is presented to students who have exemplified Christian values by their compassion for others and their selflessness towards the other members of their class. And the award goes to... Honor roll recognition is presented to the grade 8 students with the highest proficiency in academics, the highest overall average in the core subject areas, literacy, numeracy, history, geography, science, and French. These students achieved an overall average of 80% or above. Furthermore, these students display an enthusiasm for learning and apply exemplary work habits to achieve outstanding grades. And the award goes to...
This is an award given to graduating students based on votes by a committee of staff members. Recipients are chosen based on their ability to best represent their grade 8 class at graduation. This award is presented to the student who effectively exemplifies their aspirations and capabilities of this year's graduates, while also embodying the spirit, faith, and responsibility consistent with the student who represents the type of personal and academic success nurtured in our grade 8 students. Please join us in welcoming Christian Asocio. Hello fellow graduates, staff, visitors, and parents. Thank you for attending our graduation ceremony today. I am Christian Vedesefe C. Escocio, and I am in Mr. Richard Donis' class. It was not so long ago when I dared to dream, and not so long ago when I dared to take the first essential steps towards the fulfillment of my elementary education. Today, together with my fellow graduates, we celebrate our success after all these years of hardship, struggle, and perseverance. We reminisce about the challenges that stood before us, and we savored the victories that came upon our hands. Although it has been a really tough past two years because of virtual school, we have still learned and experienced many fun things, made new friends, created unforgettable memories, and experienced a new way of learning. We are all starting a new chapter in our life, which is high school. And despite the challenges that we're about to face, we should always remember to give all of our best in everything we do. We should remember all of the mistakes we made this year and learn from them. We should also remember all the fun learning we had this year, such as our teachers trying to make us open our cameras, motivating us to step out of our comfort zone, and all the fun things we did in class. We should remember all of those experiences and make them our motivation to strive for more excellence in high school. Along the way, we may meet a lot of trials, but a burning desire to reach our goals will keep us from straying or giving up. We should always remember to have faith in God, that He will show and guide us the right path to take in our new chapter in life, high school. At this time, let us thank God, therefore, for His unceasing grace and guidance. Let us also thank the following people. Thank you to our principal, Mrs. Boris. Our former principal, Mr. Russo, and staff for establishing a happy and healthy school environment. Thank you to our teachers for their immeasurable dedication, for providing us with new learning and experiences. Thank you to our parents for their unconditional support all throughout these years, and our friends who walk along with us side by side. Because of them, we were able to reach this end of war. Because of them, we can truly say we made it. Let us clap our hands for all of them. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with this lovely quote. If you never try, you will never know. This quote is inspirational because it is about how we should always remember to step aside our fears and to experience new things. Congratulations to all of us, my fellow graduates. Thank you and God bless everyone. Please join us in presenting St. Anne's Academy Grade 8 students their diplomas.
Closing Prayer Heavenly Father, give grace and courage to our graduates who have worked hard this school year. We thank you for protecting them and guiding them to this point. All praise and glory to you. Inspire all the graduates to put to good use all the knowledge, skills, and life lessons learned through their education. Most importantly, as they face unknown challenges moving on, help them to keep dear the greatest wisdom of all, that of knowing Jesus and the power of the cross. A chapter has closed and another one eagerly awaits. Pave their road with opportunities and inspire them to live with hope in this incredible journey called life. Continue to bless the graduates with love, protection, mercy, strength, and wisdom. May they live passionately to honor and glorify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. This brings us to the conclusion to our inaugural grade eight graduation here at St. Anne Catholic Academy School of Virtual Learning. Thank you to all those who collaborated and shared their gifts to make this virtual graduation possible. We appreciate your videos, your time, your patience, and your endearing messages to our graduates. Thank you to all our St. Anne family and friends for your love, support, time, and guidance, which will be carried by these graduates as they embark on this new chapter of their lives. Graduates, we invite you to reflect on all your learning throughout the years and realize your Catholic call to service as you continue to be caring, compassionate, and faithful members of our global community. Know that we, the St. Anne staff, your parents, friends, and families are incredibly proud of you. We look forward to hearing about your successes and your achievements. We wish you the best and best of luck in all that you attempt. Congratulations, St. Anne Catholic Academy, School of Virtual Learning, Class of 2022. Remember, virtually you can do anything. Good night.